Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today I am, <laughs> it's been so long since I recorded a video. Um, we had a convention on the weekend all about love and in that time I was not doing any electronics. I, I was just taking a break from all of my electronics and so I am so behind with like my videos and like watching videos. I have so many people that I watch all the time. I have to catch up on all of them. And so if you haven't been seeing me commenting on your videos, it is not because I'm just passing them over as much as I took an electronic break. And that's why I haven't been there, but I will definitely be catching up with you. Videos that I have to watch and I can't wait. So um, after we get all settled with uh, our cleanup in this classroom, I am going to definitely sit down and watch those. We are cleaning out our classroom, trying to um, end the school year so that we can go into the new school year. We normally have we normally have um, a break where we like clear out the classroom. You know, at the end of the school year, when your children are in traditional schooling schools, that the teachers send all of this work home at the end of the year. Well, it's already here. And so I have to go through all of it and make sure I have examples of their work as well as just keeping little mementos that I want to keep, not getting rid of everything, but um, at the same time clearing out from the previous school year and going on to the new one so that we do not have an abundance of items in our home, in our classroom. So that has been a lot, that has been so much, but um, it's working out just fine and we're happy with where it is for now. So this week, well over the last couple of weeks, I purchased a few things that I wanted to share with you. They, most of them, you, as usual, I'm a sale, sale junkie, so um, I usually go for things that are on sale. Not, It's not always like that because it's just not always available, but I got some really nice sales that I thought you guys might like if you are interested. I'm not in any way telling you to go out and get these things <laughs> as much as if you are in, if you're looking for something like this, I just wanted to share with you some deals that I got. I will start with this bodysuit that I'm wearing today, and I am so in love with this bodysuit. <laughs> I ordered it from Victoria's Secret on their sale, their annual sale, and it's like, it's coming off very, very, it's almost white, but it's actually a blush pink, a very pale blush pink, and I love it. It is, it is pretty deep in the front and the back, but it, it covers everything, and so I really like that. It stays nice. It has a rib to it. I don't know if that's coming. Yes, there it is. You can see that it is ribbed and it's perfect for the summer, perfect for the springs, perfect for the winter. And I love it. I think this will look so cute with a nice blazer. But um, today I'm just wearing it with a denim skirt. And you can see that it's just like perfectly tucked in. It's so neat. I love this thing. It was on sale. Um, I will try to um, list everything down. I will remember. I'll remember. <laughs> I'll list everything down below so that you can just see that these, I mean, amazing sale. I absolutely love it. It is so comfortable. The bodysuit aspect of it is very comfortable. I really do like it. The only challenge with this is it has little um, ruching strings on the side, like right here. It is ruched so that it will, you can either bring it down or you can um, just like let it stay a little bit more lax. But, um, so far, I don't have an issue, but I think that if I were to wear these with pants, it may be a little bit uncomfortable, or if I have on a certain type of skirt, you may be able to see them. But so far, I have not had an issue. I will show you a picture of what, I've, what I'm talking about, but um, yes, it's absolutely perfect. I, the next thing that I ordered was another bodysuit because I've just been loving the idea of bodysuits. This one I do like, but um, this is the next one that I got. This is more of a... Uh, winter kind of bodysuit because it is velour and I thought it would look super cute under a blazer it <laughs> you're gonna think I'm silly but I'm looking at this and it does look kind of like I'm going to be on the gymnastics team at the Olympics <laughs> but I think it's really cute and I think it would look super duper cute underneath a blazer and then this is a thong one piece and I don't know how well this is gonna work out for me because this is a, whereas it's a thong, it's pretty big. Because I don't, I mean, these things are already so uncomfortable, but sometimes you can get underwear lines when you have on a one piece kind of um, situation. And so that's why I just decided that I was going to try this out at least, especially at the great price that I got it for. The last thing that I purchased from Victoria's Secret was I purchased a new bra and 
This was not on sale, but this is a repurchase for me. This is my favorite bra that I buy from Victoria's Secret. For some reason, it doesn't have the name of the bra on here. And I normally go according to the code, but I will list this below. This is my favorite bra that I purchased from them. I just recently had to be refit by them for a new bra because things were not working out just with my older bras. And because I know I have been working out differently, it does change your proportions. And so I needed to go down with my band because I felt like my bra was always um, hiking up in the back. And so she told me that I just needed to go down with my band size. And so that's what I did. And so I just got a new one. And just to be sure that it's still a good fit now, I'm just, I just got one. But this is my favorite. I love that it is nice, a nice new color for me. And the name of this color, if it's not on here. No, the name of the color is not on here. We went away for the convention that we went to. We went past the store. Primark is not close to me. It's almost an hour away from me. And so I knew I needed to stock up on my cotton items because I've always felt that, okay, I know there are a lot of people who feel that they have to use specific cotton items, like, well, they have cotton pads and things for cleaning their skin. But I always felt that, you know, cotton is cotton. It didn't really matter until I found one that I really love. And these cotton rounds that I use from, Prim from Primark, these are the oval cosmetic pads one dollar a pack these are by far the best cotton rounds i have ever used they feel like fabric so this is what i'm just taking the ones i have in my container out these this is what they look like this is the large size and then this is the round this is a cotton oval this is the cotton round the cotton rounds are 75 cents for 120 pads the ovals are 50 pads for $1, and this is the size of the oval, and you can see how thick that is. And then this is the size of the round, and this is still nice and thick, but then thin enough to get into, fold over and get into all of your little crevices, and these are my favorite things. And, let's see, they also have the cotton buds and these are one dollar for the pack it comes in a plastic container and these are absolutely amazing these it's not to say that they're very different from anything else i've ever used as much as i really 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 like this tip and they are one dollar for this container but for my children i take i took one of these i've already almost emptied this one right here but I take one of these and I gave it to my daughter and I just put a few of these right here inside and I gave them to her. And I will more than likely, well not more than likely, but I'm going to do the very same for my son. The only thing is I'm just going to put some decorative tape around here because he doesn't like the fact that it's all, it's so pink because it looks really pretty on your vanity. So he's like, I'm not for it. So <laughs> this is what I will give him. So he'll have all three in this one container. And then I will put one in our main bathroom upstairs. And I love it. These things are amazing. Okay, and the last thing that I purchased from Primark for $1.60 is a nice um, neutral kind of, it's not, I guess it's supposed to be, um, nude for someone of this complexion but this is a neutral tank that i like to use to um, put on underneath different items that i have i wanted to do a video on, on my favorite nude or neutral items because i think that they're so essential when it comes to everyday throw on wear and just having like the perfect silhouette under your clothes and so this is a tank top that i purchased they were a dollar sixty and the primark items tend to run a little small and so i ended up getting this in an extra large and it is definitely too big, but that's okay because it is still, it's more of a shell than a tank top, but that's okay. I still really love it. This is like a nice neutral color to have underneath something that I'm wearing. And so I love it. And so I purchased a new lipstick. Yes, just one new lipstick. And this is from Christian Audette. And this right here, I heard about this company from um, Lisa Lisa D1, her channel. She has a line with the um, Nudes of Summer. I think the whole line is called, it's uh, a lipstick, two lipsticks and a lip liner. And the lipstick is so beautiful. The color is definitely not a nude for me that she put out, but I looked on the website because just watching the application, I watched a lot of different videos on um, the way it looks when people apply it. 
just one swipe and you just end up with the best color. And so I went to their Instagram page and I was looking through looking for a color for me, but most of the colors were not for me. And then this was the color that was suggested to me when I um, messaged them. And this is the color I'm wearing today. And it is like my new favorite lip color because it does give me a hint of color, but then it's a nice nude, nice neutral. This is what it looks like in the tube. It is matte and I have, of course, a gloss over it. I do like it with um, without the gloss as well, but this is just, I like a glossy lip, but this is a matte color and it is called Where's My Limo? And it is so pretty. When I, at first when I got it, it was just so opaque. And you see how that looks? I said, I don't know if this is gonna look right on me, but then I put it on and I love it. I have it paired with my absolute favorite lip liner ever, ever, ever. And that is the Lancome Portel. And this is what it looks like. And so with these two, I have my lip liner on and I filled in my lip a little bit and then I put this on over it and they pair so nicely. Let me just put it next to it. They pair so nicely. And then I just put on, I actually have on my Victoria's Secret um, Minty Shine On. And that's what I have over this. I normally wear my Mentha Shine from um, Bath & Body Works, but I don't even think they sell this anymore because I went on their website trying to order and I couldn't find anything. So this is what um, I have on today. This is my lip combo that I'm head over heels in love with. This lasts so long on your lips on its own, but when I pair it with a lip liner that I kind of filled in my lips with, this lasts forever. I reapplied my lip gloss on top of it and it is still there full power. And that was something that Lisa Lisa D1 did mention in her video, just the fact that it stays for a very long time. But then the lip liner that she came out with for her lip colors, she said that definitely she doesn't have to reapply. I wish they had, I didn't see lip liners, but um, this right here, I just, I really, this is just my tried and true favorite lip liner. Then this one lasts a very long time as well. But um, I wish I could have just purchased one that was made to go with these right here. But anyway, I'm in love with this. It's a beautiful color. And there is another color that is more less of a brownie color, but more of a pinky color because my natural nudes that I normally go for is um, more of a pinky color. But this surprised me at how much I love it. And this is um, Lancome. What is the name of this right here? It's 331. I can't remember the name of this. The name of this is long. It's not like a short name, and that's why I never know. And I've had, I have this. I've repurchased it, and I don't know the name of it. It's, well, it's a cream color, and this is my one of my favorite nude colors. And you can see that it kind of gives you that um, same kind of effect, but this is more sheer. And that's I didn't expect this color right here to be so very opaque. And so this is the one from Lancome and I'm gonna compare it to the Christian Audette. You see how it's basically the very same color, but one is just sheer and the other one is much more opaque. And the Christian Audette is um, also uh, matte. Now, I do notice that on the packaging, the name is almost gone. The weight of the lipstick tube is very, very heavy, but the name is almost gone on it. And um, I guess at first that bothered me, but then to a certain extent, I think I would like to just have the plain back black case. But um, yeah, the name is almost gone. I just wanted to mention that just in case it happens to you that I didn't. Um, if that's something that would bother you, you would just know that that's, that may happen, not that it will. Now I'm going to very quickly show you some items I purchased from Milani that more than likely my daughter will end up with. We have quite a few um, weddings and formal dinners that we'll be going to for anniversaries for this summer. And so I ended up getting this item, these items from Milani. I purchased their um, hypnotic lights collection and it is, these things are so beautiful. Look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? Look how pretty. Ow! They are so pretty. There's one that is gold. One is like an, an opaly white color. This one is green. So of course, you know, I love this one. I love the green of this, but this one is not as intense as this one here, this bluish purpley one. And they all shift in color. When you put, apply them to your skin, they shift in color. And 
The only way you end up with a glittery mess after you use these is if you wipe them off before they've completely dried. When I tried to wipe them off after swatching them, they the first time they were not completely dry and they left a mess on my hands. But when I let them completely dry and I took it off, it was not like that and so I was really happy about that. And then I also have the lip colors. There are three different lip colors. I only have two of them left because of course my, my daughter will end up with all of these. But this was just something for me to try out for the um, formal events that I have. And these two colors that I have left are number two and number three. One of them is the pink color. The other is like a, not like, it is a gold color and they are lipstick toppers. And I should have mentioned that these are eyeshadow toppers. They're not eyeshadows, but just the toppers. And these are lipstick toppers. They are absolutely beautiful and I love them. Okay, the last thing I wanted to share with you guys are the two fragrances that I have. I have um, I have many of the Michael Kors fragrances. I always love his fragrance. This one is my first um, perfume from him. And this is the Michael Kors Sky Blossom. Can you tell I love it? <laughs> This perfume smells so good. It smells like just the most wonderful fragrant walk through a field of wildflowers that you can possibly imagine. It's soft, but then at the same time, it just feels grown and wonderful and saucy. It's so beautiful. I'm always in love with his fragrance, but this one, love it, and it lasts for me for a good few hours, maybe about four or five hours where I will have this on where I'm not smelling it as strong. It still lingers, but it's not as strong. It is the perfume, so it's going to have more power, but it is, just as I'm smelling it right now, it is just so wonderful. It just gives you such a happy springtime feeling like, oh, finally I can put all my winter clothes away. That's what this makes me feel like. I absolutely love it. He did such a good job with this perfume. And then the last fragrance that I purchased is the Tory Burch um, Love Relentlessly. Now this one right here is very different from my collection. If you've seen my videos, generally speaking, I like fragrances that are floral, um, like honeysuckle, rose, lilies. I love them to pieces. Things that have the undertone of being kind of um, almost like baby powder. This is not like that. This is a very, very, very different fragrance for me. It is a lot more forward. It's not very strong as much as it's more forward. Definitely very grown, very saucy. And it goes on powerful, And but then once it settles in, I like it. In the very beginning when I sprayed it on me, I didn't like it pretty much at all. But then when, you know, that's the whole thing. When you buy fragrances, you should put it on your skin and see how it settles into your body with your chemistry. And in the beginning of spraying this, I didn't like it. It was just like, oh, no, 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 that's not for me. But then as I had it on, I just said, wow, what is that smell? And I just realized, wait a minute, that's that perfume. It settled into my skin and it smelled amazing. But in the beginning, I didn't like the smell. The only challenge I'm having with this is it doesn't necessarily last very long on me. And I know when a fragrance agrees with your chemistry, a lot of the times you won't smell it yourself because it just blends into your chemistry. But I'm noticing that even my husband doesn't notice this fragrance. And my husband loves fragrances. He always asks me about my fragrance. And he's not the kind of guy who would say, well, I don't like it, so I'm not going to mention it. That's not how he is. He would say, oh, what is that you're wearing? Like, okay, it's not my favorite, but, you know, and that would just be it. But to say the least, he hasn't noticed this fragrance right here. And so um, it, it gives me a wonderful feeling when I smell it, but at the same time, it doesn't last very long. But it is very, it's a very beautiful bottle. I mean, just what you would expect from Tory Burch, but it is um, not a fragrance that lasts on me very long. Of course, chemistry has a lot to do with that, but um, it is a beautiful fragrance and I like it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. If you like this video or anything in it, please remember to give me a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys again very shortly. Bye.